Hello and welcome to the City and Guild's International Spoken ESOL Teacher Development Workshop. This one has the focus on accuracy. If we haven't met, my name is Vincent Smudovic and I'm here to introduce the workshop and then hand over to you and at the end I'll come back and draw the whole thing together. This is one of a series of workshops which City and Guilds has produced to support both International ESOL and International Spoken ESOL. We wanted to put something online so that we can reach more and more teachers and we're delighted that we've reached you. Um, let me briefly explain the aims of this workshop. First of all, it's to look at the relationship between the Common European Framework of Reference and the City and Guild's International ESOL and Spoken ESOL tests. It's also to look at what we actually mean by accuracy. How do we interpret accuracy in the context of the tests? Is it just grammatical accuracy or is there more to that? And also, how can we make sure that we focus on accuracy and not always on inaccuracy, as has tended to be the case in the past? Um, also like to look at the part that accuracy plays in the assessment. What percentage, if you like, what weighting is given to accuracy by assessors. Also to look at accuracy in the four different parts of the spoken ESOL test. If you're familiar with the test, you'll know that it's not just a single interview. It's a four-part test of spoken English. And the part that accuracy play plays may be different. We can all make mistakes. Um, also, to look at accuracy at different levels. As we've said, Common European Framework of Reference is the basis for the tests, so let's look at how many levels there are, what they mean, what they're called, and how learners can meet the criteria, including that of accuracy, at each different level. Um, we will be looking at the important issue of mistakes and errors. What's the difference between the two? if there is one useful to be made, and what should teachers and learners do about mistakes and errors. We'll be referring to what it says in the Common European Framework, and we'll be giving you advice from a teacher's, a trainer's, and assessor's point of view. I mentioned teachers, and I think that probably the most important part of this workshop, the thing that I hope you will find really valuable in your teaching, is practical classroom ideas for helping learners to develop the skills they need in order to become more accurate. And it isn't easy. Many learners have a horror of making mistakes. What we want to do is to show how we can focus on accuracy and help people to improve and how you can help them to help themselves. What happens now is very much up to you. If you click on the Accuracy Workshop, it's then up to you whether you follow the workshop alone. If you do, there is still an element of interaction because we have tasks for teachers which you can think about and make notes about and also feedback from trainers. Ideally, if you can work with a colleague or colleagues, you can find the tasks far more stimulating and interactive. But it's up to you. The flexibility is there. You can do the workshop at one sitting. You can have a break. You're in control. That's the whole point of the workshop being online. When you've completed the workshop, please click on the feedback conclusion video and I'll come back and try to draw some conclusions and put the whole thing together. I hope you enjoy the workshop, hope you find it useful and um, I'll see you later.